Hey guys, I am coming to you today because I see so many broken, hurt people who really don't know what to do in life, who really don't know what they want to do with their life, who continues to struggle day in, day out, and they're trying to figure it out and they really just don't know how to do it. I see you guys. I see you hurting. I see your brokenness. I see your failed relationships. I see your broken families, your broken hearts, your your um, struggles financially. I want you guys to know I see these things and um, there's an answer for that. And maybe you don't believe this answer, but I do because it's helped me. And God is the answer for that. And prayer is the answer for that. And I don't see a lot of positivity on my timeline that often. I see a lot of funny and a lot of jokes, but I don't see a lot of positivity. A lot of people, a lot of people uplifting each other, helping each other. I see a lot of down talk. I see the, a lot of you guys talking about what other people need to do. How about instead of telling people what they need to do, how about you start saying, this is what I'm going to start doing to help you. This is what needs to be done for you guys to, this is, I do it this way. Let me help you do it this way too. Or maybe tweak it a little bit because other people's ways are not going to always be the same. Instead of putting other people down and saying, this is why you guys are this way. This is why black people are this way. This is why we're this way because of this, because of that. It's so much negativity. Where is the love? The way I operate, I operate out of love. I'm not saying I'm always so positive all of the time, but I'm saying I operate out of love. I do things out of love. When I see ignorance and I see people who don't understand something, I, I speak to them from a loving space. I understand you see it that way. I understand this is your perspective, but how about trying to look at it this way? And if they don't agree with you, then they don't agree with you. But um, the real reason why I'm getting on here tonight, today is not really just to tell you guys about all the negativity I'm seeing, but it's also about prayer because I don't see a lot of that on my timeline either. I see a lot of people saying, I'm going to pray for you, but are you really getting down and praying? Do you really pray for the people who you say, sorry for your loss, I'm praying for you? Do you really pray for the people when you see I'm having a, I'm having a hard time right now, I'm struggling? Are you really helping these people out? Because if we can all come together and help somebody out there, you got a thousand, fifteen, five, up to five thousand friends on your Facebook page. But how much? How many of them are you really helping? Especially the ones that I see on my timeline who are really wise and really smart. How are you helping and reaching out and serving the one, the, the other ones that you see are struggling and don't have it all figured out? I'm doing my part, but I want us all to be able to do our part. What are you doing? Are you doing your part in helping? Are you doing your part in serving? God called us all for a purpose. What is your purpose? What are you here for? How are you here to serve? Because our purpose serves other people. Our experiences help other people. The things I've went through, the turmoil I've gone through, my negative experiences, my trauma that I experienced as a childhood, I went through all that so I could help someone through that. So I don't sit back and do, woe is me, I wish that didn't happen to me. No, God wanted it to happen to me for a reason. And now I'm using that to help someone else, which is why I talk, which is why I speak, which is why I get on here and I, I help you guys, which is why I'm a life coach and I help people coach people through life, help them thrive and get out of the positions that they're stuck in. That's why I do it. I don't do this for me. I do this for you. So you can have the help that you need because I, I'm at peace. I have joy in my life. I'm good. I do this for me. So um, I just want to pray for you guys that are struggling, that you need help with, that um, that just pray, just a little prayer for you. And I'm hoping that my prayer can ignite you to you to start praying every day. Because one thing that I see is a lot of people pray to God like God is Santa Claus. Like if you say, God, send me a million dollars and it's going to be in your bank account. God, can you please do this for me? But you don't do the work. You and God are co-creators. You're co-creators. You're partners in this. I do something, then God blesses it. If I'm not doing nothing, you ain't giving nothing God to bless, then it can't be blessed. God blesses what you do. What you do. What are you serving? I found my purpose. How am I helping? Not just in my job. How am I helping other people outside of that? Because at the end of the day, you're doing your job because you want money. But what is your purpose? 
So I'm going to pray for you guys really, really quick because I don't know if you guys have anybody that's praying for you. I want to be able to pray for all of you so you know that you have someone that's praying for you, that's rooting for you, that wants you to win. I don't care who's watching this. I'm talking to you. I want to see you win. You are capable of winning. You are capable of being everything that God called you to be. You just got to be willing to put in the work. Okay? So I'm going to pray for you really, really quick and then we'll get out of here. All right? Spirit of living God, fall fresh on my mind today. God, I see so many hurting people in the world, and I ask that you just help them, God. God, I ask that you be there with them in this time of need. God, I ask that you let them see that they are limited by their mind, and if they just change their mind, that you will uh, work through them. That we are spiritual beings, God, and there is so much more that we can do. God, I ask that all the people that are struggling right now, God, that need your help, that you fall fresh on them. That you take up in their spirit. And a lot of people say intuition. Intuition, spirit is the same. But they listen to that. And they know that it is your guidance. My intuition, our intuitions is your guidance. Your way of saying to us that this is how it should be done. God, I know you want us to live exceedingly and abundantly. But it is up to us to be able to do what needs to be done. God, I ask that everyone watching this video right now is blessed. That they know that they're blessed. God, I ask that everyone watching this right now understands that they are capable of having everything that they wanted. The loving marriage, the happy households, the financial stability, everything that they wanted. God, I ask that everyone watching this is able to know that if they just trust and believe in you. Trust and believe in all that you've given them and tap into that power that you gave to them, God. I pray for peace in the minds that have to deal with chaos right now. I pray there's peace in their homes. I pray that they find peace everywhere that they are struggling in their mind right now. God, you called us for greater things, and I ask that all of us are able to be able to do exactly what you called us to do so that we can live the life that you wanted us to have. Not a life of struggling, not a life of chaos, not a life of frustration, hate, and anger, but a life of love abundance, prosperity, love, peace, joy, purpose. God, I thank you for everyone that you called to watch this video right now because you called them to watch it because you know they needed to see it. God, I ask that you just continue to speak through me and work through me to help serve and be better for everyone that's watching right now. Because I know that if I can do it, everyone watching this video can do it. God, I pray everyone watching this video finds the peace and prosperity that they need in their life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I hope you guys have an amazing day today. You are blessed. You are powerful. You are strong. You are everything that you want to be. It's up to you to tap into that power. So tap into the power that you were created to be and reach out to me if you need me. I love all of you. All of you. I don't got to see you to know that I love you. I love people. I love you. All right. Peace, happiness, love, and abundance to all of you. Oh yeah, my name's Amber Nicole. <laughs> I guess I should have said that at the beginning. Bye guys.